Hey everyone, Lutz Lounge here. Uh, in this quick video, I'm going to touch on a little bit more of a Final Cut Basics question. Uh, and this has actually come up a little bit in some of the uh, comments, and, and as well as I actually had a couple people email me uh, on how to actually do this in Final Cut. But it's actually creating your own custom uh, project dimensions uh, for stuff that you might be doing more for mobile reasons, uh, mobile video, especially for Instagram stories or Facebook stories or something like that, that you need more of a vertical video. So uh, again, this is a really basic tutorial, uh, and this is me just showing you how to do this. But um, So we're in Final Cut here, and we're going to create a new project. So I'm going to go over here, uh, go to New Project. Uh, I'm going to put, you know, where I'm going to uh, where I'm gonna place it in my events. Um, so you can just place it anywhere you want to. I'm going to call this Custom Dimensions. Uh, and then here under the video section, uh, we're gonna click this little box here and you can see that we have all these options here, but we're gonna go down to custom. And you can see where it says uh, on my default is 1920 by 1080, that's standard 1080p, uh, but that is uh, more of a 1920. So 1920 is actually going horizontal and uh, 1080 is actually going vertical. So it's uh, if this was the board here, this would be 1920 going this way, this would be 1080 going this way. So what we want to do is actually just reverse these. That's basically how simple this is. So we're going to actually type in 1080 right here and then 1920 right here. Now I could obviously go higher on the resolution, but again, this is meant more for a mobile purpose. So again, Instagram stories, uh, stuff like that, Instagram reels, you can actually make a reel on here instead of actually using the reels section on Instagram. Uh, so you get a little bit more uh, flexibility with that. And then you can choose your frame rate. I'm just gonna stick to 24 here. Uh, and then everything else you can set, set to basically whatever you want to. Um, for those kind of purposes on uh, stories, reels, that kind of thing. I just stand, set the standard color spec to, uh, space to Rec 709 uh, rendering. I just always keep it on Apple ProRes. Um, and then that's pretty much it. Uh, we just have our everything saved under our name. We click OK. And now we go over here. Uh, so we'll go click on our uh, custom dimension just to make sure we're here. Now you can see we have a vertical, uh, a vertical view here. So what we could actually do now is actually drop in our video, uh, which I'll go ahead and grab right here. We'll take our video, place it in our timeline. And now you can see we have our video. Now the reason why I like doing this in Final Cut when I can, when I have the time, is because I have a little bit more flexibility. I can add some cool custom graphics, uh, some animations, fun stuff like that, that uh, I most likely couldn't do using the native uh, Instagram stories, that kind of thing. So it's just a really fun way of just getting a little bit more control uh, to your project. So that's a great way of uh, creating a custom dimensions for your project, especially for those social media purposes. So thank you guys for joining me in this video uh, and I'll catch you in the next one.